In this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know in the world of weather as we head into this month. Before we get into the long range outlook for all of September, there are a few things I want to talk about in the short range. First of all, September will unfortunately not be a month of heat relief for some hoping for it, at least in the first half of the month. For the first five days of September, including Labor Day, this is what I'm expecting across the country. Looks like we will start off the month on a rainy note across parts of the western U.S. associated with a storm system which will be moving through. This will raise flood concerns from California and Arizona up into the Dakotas. At the same time, lingering tropical moisture around the Gulf states will lead to some heavy storms Friday and Saturday. We are also going to experience a major heat wave across parts of the central U.S. with record heat possible around the upper Midwest. The Climate Prediction Center did some key messages about this heat wave, saying that a heat wave is likely to build across parts of the northern and central plains and upper Midwest in the upcoming Labor Day holiday weekend and into early next week. A cold front will move through on Tuesday, September 5th, ending extreme heat across the north but suppressing it southward over places like Texas. We can see that practically all of the lower 48 will be experiencing warmer than normal temperatures for these time frames, except for parts of the western United States where we may even see some cooler weather. The extreme heat in the south, especially around Texas, will be accompanied by drier than normal weather from the southwest into the southeast. The driest conditions look to be centered over the four corners as the monsoon season remains less active than usual. Some wetter than normal weather does appear probable, especially in northern regions of the country, especially the northwest, upper midwest, and northeast. But let's not also forget about Alaska, which looks to start off the month wetter and cooler than usual. Now that we know what to expect in the near term, how's the rest of September looking? Overall, my temperature outlook is dominated by warmer than normal conditions being likely in the orange shades. The darker these colors get, the greater the chance of warmer than average temperatures. As you can see, I'm expecting a massive portion of the central U.S. to see much above normal temperatures throughout September. The only place likely seeing temperatures closer to average is the west. Some cooler than normal conditions are also possible around Washington and Oregon due to the potential for some low pressure systems moving through. Alaska can also expect warmer weather across the northern, western, and southern parts of the state, with cooler weather looking to dominate the central and west-central regions. For my precipitation outlook, it does look overall drier than usual across the southwestern lower 48, but I still went with wetter conditions possible, mainly for the storm system moving through within the first few days of September. The only area where I think wetter than normal conditions are likely is across places like Washington State. August was an extremely dry month for the Northwest, which helped a lot of wildfires to erupt and spread. Thankfully, September may feature some increased precipitation. An area that will very likely see drier conditions is this large area across the central U.S. Widespread drier than normal weather is favored here, which correlates with some of the hottest conditions. Alaska looks drier than normal mainly in the southeastern portion of the state, with wetter conditions likely in much of the southwest, south-central interior, and far northern portion of Alaska. Looking at the drought outlook for September, we see widespread drought conditions in place. Persistent dry and hot weather through the summer, especially in July and August, and then continuing into September, has led to the development of drought across all these regions in the brown, with drought expected to develop in areas in yellow. Drought removal looks likely across parts of Florida, the Carolinas, Utah, Nevada, and Arizona. Besides the lower 48, Alaska won't have any drought issues. Unfortunately, as you can see, Hawaii will continue to experience drought conditions across the islands, with no significant improvement expected this month. This will continue to keep the wildfire threat elevated. Lastly, Puerto Rico will see drought improvements in that small little area northwestern portions of the island. Severe weather is still a risk we need to watch out for across portions of the country in September. While I do think severe storms won't often be the main headlines, here are the regions I'm watching. If you're in the green, I wouldn't be worried about severe storms. This includes parts of the southwest, northwest, and portions of the interior northeast and far northern portions of the upper midwest. The yellow shade is where severe storms are possible, 
which includes parts of the western U.S. and to the high plains and northeast. Severe storms are likely in the orange, which is where most of the severe weather ingredients will likely be most often. Lastly, the red shade is where I expect the highest concentration of severe weather events, which may even be contributed by the remnants of tropical systems. And speaking of tropical systems, there's something I'm watching. This will take us back to the short range. The National Hurricane Center page is extremely active on September 1st. We have Tropical Depression Gert, which somehow came back after disappearing. We have Hurricane Franklin, which seemingly never ends. Tropical Storm Jose, which has formed recently and which will soon be absorbed by Franklin. And of course, post-tropical cyclone Idalia, which should regenerate into a tropical storm. While there is a lot going on out there, what I really want you to focus on is this orange area in the main development region. All model guidance suggests that a tropical wave will emerge and enter this orange shade in the coming days. This system already has a high likelihood of becoming the next hurricane, possibly impacting the Caribbean and perhaps the US. This system has a lot of details that remain nebulous, so I definitely encourage you to stay tuned to this channel for more information on that system, as it does have the potential to pose a risk for a lot of people. September is no stranger to tropical cyclones since this is the most active month on average. This map shows where the greatest risk of tropical cyclones developing is. The chances are pretty high anywhere in the blue, green, and especially orange, which includes the main development region into the Caribbean, Gulf of Mexico, and along the east coast of the US. Before we move on to my overall forecast, I did want to briefly talk about the wildfire potential this month. This is the forecast issued by the NICC, or the National Interagency Coordination Center. Wildfire potential will be greater than normal in the red, covering the northwest, upper midwest, Texas, and Louisiana. This is where the combination of hot and dry weather will be most favorable for significant wildfires. The only area that is experiencing a less than normal risk of wildfires is over parts of the Sierra Nevada mountains in California. With all this information that we've reviewed in mind, here's my overall September weather forecast. In the northwest, I'm predicting slightly wetter and cooler conditions. Portions of California are in this gray shade, which is where pretty much average weather is expected. Much of the southwest is in a green shade, which is where I expect some wet periods. Drier than normal weather is likely for much of September, but a few impulses of monsoonal moisture look possible. The interior northwest, especially around Montana, looked to have a near-average September with generally warm conditions likely. A massive area of the north-central and midwestern U.S. is painted in red, meaning hotter conditions. I'm expecting some pretty hot weather across this region, especially for the first half of September. We may even see some temperature records broken as well. Just like my August forecast, Texas and surrounding states can expect unrelenting heat once again. Thankfully, I do think that mid to late September will finally bring relief, but the first half of September will still feel like July and August. The purple shade from the Gulf Coast up through much of the east coast of the U.S. is under a tropical threat. Like I mentioned earlier, the tropics are at their peak this month, so the coastal areas will need to be very aware. A darker purple shade is in place along the southeast coast, which is where I think the highest risk of tropical systems impacting the country is. The orange shade in the southeast U.S. represents continuing warmth, storms, and even the potential for tropical remnants to move through. Lastly, the northeast will see rounds of rain throughout the month, mainly in the form of passing cold fronts. That's all for my September weather forecast. If you enjoyed this analysis, please consider subscribing for more weather updates.